how to write your first docker file so how do we write this now let's understand this now this is a docker file running this above application okay let's understand this one by one so as we know this is node.js application so it need the base image right so what here we are using we are using node.js as a base image on that image we are going to run our application right if this could be the python application then maybe we will use python base image right or maybe golang we need golang base image so now question may become in your mind how do you know that of course you can go in a docker hub and try to find the base image for golang base image for java for our node.js application we are using node 18 as a base image then this image will already have node.js installed means we don't need to do extra steps to install node Node.js. Can we use Ubuntu here? Of course, you can go ahead and use the Ubuntu base image, but then we need to write steps to install Node.js, right? Well, now, once we get the Node base image, it means all set our application will run out of box, correct? Our next step is to, we have to make sure from where our application will run, right? Because we are going to get application code and put in our container, right? So, before one thing, so what you see here from, so from work directory, copy, run, Okay, expose CMD. So these are a specific command we need to use in our Docker file. So that is something you have to remember. Okay, so these are the instructions. Okay, so from instruction basically get the base image. Okay, work DIR instruction basically set the working directory. Okay, so that understood. Now, so we are using work DIR to set the working directory inside the container. So we are saying so working directory inside the container. When application will run, it will be slash app. Then our container will have this node environment, right? Node installed. Then we set the directory. Then in this directory, we need to copy our application, right? And application code. So here we are using copy instruction to copy package dot JSON and install dependencies. So we know in package.json we have all dependencies so this part we are copying copy package json from where to where to in the current directory so what we see here here we set working directory slash app means now our container is in this slash app right dot so from current directory here so this is my app right here we are running this docker file so docker file is where this docker file please understand so this docker file when we are creating this docker file where this is present this is present in my app right so in my app this docker file is there so in the face of the docker file we are copying package.json right where we already set working directory slash app right so package.json we are copying in the app slash dot app we are running npm install to install the dependencies so what npm will it will go and look into packets.json this is currently present where in slash app then it's going to install all the dependencies after that we are copying the rest of the application how do we copy we already understood using copy instruction copy command right so we're saying copy everything from the current directory okay what is current current directory current directory is here app my app right because here we have docker.file right so everything is going to copy these three files all files where in the slash app okay then here next is expose application port where well, this is very very important so now we are going to run the application right so application need to be running on certain port so that port need to be exposed so here we are exposing again to expose the port to allow container run on certain port we need to expose it so we are saying expose port 3000 for the application so this is port of container inside application please do remember so this is port of application that's where our application run inside the container now next is start the node.js application so all done right so we have the node environment working directory we install all dependencies we copied all application file then we also know where application is going to run and what is the last last is we need to start our application right so for that we're using cmd command line okay use cmd to start the application how as this is node application so node pass node and then along with the node after node pass the server.js to start the application so once we will go ahead and build the image from this docker file and run the container then container going to start our application using node and server.js